I'm still here at the magnificent, awesome Molo River Roses Limited. We're learning more about flowers and now I want you to be very keen. We're going to learn about the stages of the flower, the kind of uh, crop husbandry that takes place and a lot more. Uh, without further ado, I want to introduce my next guest who is a very, very important person in the production uh, of the flower. We are following farmers. Now, Karibu sana bro. He is the tallest man I have ever seen. Very tall. <laughs> Karibu sana bro. Uh, tell us your name and uh, what your role here at Molo River Roses Limited. Let's look at that camera and tell us your name uh, and all that. Uh -huh. oh, okay, welcome to Molo River Roses. I'm Bolo Bivon, uh, the production officer. Uh, one of my biggest role is production. So we work to produce roses. Uh, on the production, we begin with uh, uh, preparing the seedlings, where we source the seedlings from the propagation uh, that are grafted. So we do plant them on the beds. There is also bed preparation. We ensure the beds are made to sustain the roots and also uh, for anchorage. So the beds are like uh, 60 meters, 60 centimeters from the normal uh, the ground. We raise them. So when we plant, we do a spacing of around uh, uh, 17, depending on the variety. Uh, during uh, planting, the beds are host and uh, the drip lines are placed. So after planting, we move to the next stage whereby it will take around six to eight weeks. Then we do the first bending. So the first bending is uh, the twisting and letting it down. So you allow the foliage to come first, then you do the first bending. Okay. First bending also helps in uh, giving, uh, okay, plants generally, they make food from the leaves. So having the leaves on it will help the photosynthesis process and we'll get more food for the shoots. Okay. So from the shoots, uh, whenever you cut or in, uh, after the first bending, it shoots. You can see the small shoots. Yes. So they come up and get to the maroon shoots. Just behind me, you can see the maroon shoots. Then from the maroon shoot, it moves to the uh, bud stage. So they start removing, uh, removing buds, the, the ones buds. that will flower. Mm -hmm. So from the bud stage, it moves to the pea stage. Okay, there is the rice stage, pea stage, it moves, color burst. Then we have the maturity stage, which is called uh, the cut stage now. The cut stage differs from customer to customer. Uh, we have cut stage 1.5, cut stage 2, cut stage 3. So depending on the customer specification, the demand from the pack house, we'll harvest that cut stage ah. so that it gets to the park house. That is a lot of information to unpack. But let us, first of all, begin with this simple question. Uh, I've looked at this plant. When were these planted? Uh, this variety was planted in 2018. 2018? Yes. So you still, so it, you mean it grows, you cut, it grows, you cut? Yes. But it's still there? Roses are naturally perennial crops. Ah. So we grow them for a lifespan of... Uh, Okay, generally, averagely, there are five years, but some might go beyond. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you, 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 you say, you talk about varieties. Yeah. Uh, which varieties do you plant here at uh, Molo River Roses? We have so many varieties, around 60 plus, and uh, Mirabel is one of them. You, you, here, here you plant... 60, 60? Yes, 60 plus varieties. Okay. Yeah. But you've said Mirabel. Mirabel is this? Mirabel is this. Okay. Yes. So what is so special about this? Uh, this is special due to the color. Uh, okay, we check the color, the buds, number of buds, uh, the length of the crop, and uh, how easy it is to grow as well, and also the customer's demand. Ah, yeah. all right. so the customer's demand also determine the varieties that you yeah, yeah. Which yes. other varieties do you plant here? We have, like in this greenhouse, we have Mirabel, we have uh, a Gelato and Samaros. Okay. Yeah. The other uh, 
which other varieties are there in the other greenhouses? The other greenhouses in Molo, in Molo River generally we have standard and spray roses. Okay. So for the standards there are uh, quite a number of standards okay. and also for the sprays we have quite a number. Okay. Yeah. So um, let's move on to uh, the, 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 the culture, the crop husbandry that, that, that you, you practice here at, at uh, Molo River. Okay. Uh, like any other farm, we do the cultural practices, that is weeding, uh, that is bending, uh, that is basaling, that is the removal of dead woods and uh, dead leaves. Uh, we also do irrigation as usual, we do crop protection, uh, we also do the harvesting. Planting is also a cultural practice, but there are those that we incorporate in our weekly work plan so as to sustain the crop as it grows, and uh, those include uh, bending, that is the addition of foliage in the bending. Then uh, we also do removal of weeds. We fork so that we don't create more hard pans mm. for easy uh, uh, movement of water, drainage within the, the beds. Uh, apart from that, we also check uh, housekeeping, that is hygiene. We ensure the greenhouse is clean so as to prevent uh, the fungal diseases. Okay. In, in terms of harvesting, how many stems do you harvest? Uh, could you harvest in one harvest uh, session, for example, per day? Okay, it depends with the variety and the greenhouse. Yeah. There are varieties that have more numbers. There are varieties that have less numbers. So uh, our standard operating procedure states that someone should harvest and a harvester should harvest like 300 stems per hour. 300 stems per hour. Yes. Okay. All right. So um, I, 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 we are aware that uh, the European market is very, very choosy when it comes to what they, 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 they accept yeah, yes. uh, in terms of uh, horticulture. Can you explain to us how uh, you do sustainability? How sustainable are your practices here at uh, Molo River? in terms of uh, just taking care of the flowers and, and, and farming? Okay, uh, European market is very choosy and uh, they actually require sustainability within the farm. So uh, in the production section, we do forking. As we do the forking, we add uh, manure. Uh, so we also do the composting. And uh, after the composting, we bring them back to the field. So for the manure, we do the goat and the cow manure that is composted, fully composted, and uh, that is done to actually improve on the soil structure and also reduce on the amount of uh, fertilizers that we use within the farm. I'm just curious, what is the qualification of somebody like you? Like, like, like you, ma, you, you are very knowledgeable. Like what would make a good production uh, officer like yourself. Let's let's inspire a young person who is watching you and wants to be like you. What do they go to school and, and, and learn? Okay, uh, if someone would wish to be a production officer, uh, if he's a young person, he can do uh, horticulture or agriculture. Uh, both of them can still work for a production officer. Okay. Yeah, as you've had uh, Bolo, Bivon, of Molo River uh, Roses Limited say, you know, you can create a job out of this uh, farming business. And uh, for, for young people out there, that is, this is why we do this program. This is why we serialize farmers. This is why we follow farmers here at BASF Follow a Farmer East Africa. And of course, as we usually say, farming is the biggest job on earth. Say it with me. Farming, Farming is, is the, the biggest, biggest job, job on earth. Turudi Atena. Farming is the biggest job on earth. earth. Alright? And therefore we follow a farmer. Follow a farmer dance. Follow a farmer. Fama, fama, follow a farmer. Hey, hey. Follow a farmer. Fama, fama, follow a farmer. Thank you very much. See you on the next one. <laughs> BASF. We create chemistry.